Hi, my name is Rody. So today I released a new package called Signals Hooks. And you may be wondering how that might work or how you can use it in your Flutter apps. So today I'm gonna to create a quick example on how you normally would work with variables in Flutter, how we migrate it to Signals and how Signals Hooks can make it even easier when working with the Flutter Hooks package. All right, let's get started. So first I'm gonna to go to my Flutter IDX instance and I just have a default counter example. This example does nothing more than you set state, and this is probably something you're very familiar with. In fact, we can go in here and create this a value notifier, and this should already start to add some ergonomic benefits. We can remove the if state check here, and we want to wrap this one with a value listenable builder. So usually I wrap it with builder, value listenable builder. We're gonna do count and we can get up the value and the child. Awesome. So now when we restart, we get a count update as normal. So this is already really cool and offers a unique advantage over set state, but let's take it further with signals. So let's go ahead to your terminal and do flutter pub add signals. This will update your pub spec YAML and allow us to import it inside of um, here. So we can change this to signal, importing the signals flutter package and everything else stays the same. And because signals created after 6.0 are value listenables and value notifiers, we don't have to change any code, which is really cool. If we wanted to be uh, use more functions out of the modern signals package, we can do the new signals mix in, which allows us to change this up a bit and do create signal and we can remove this unneeded builder since this will automatically get rebuilt every time that we change our value. So here, as we expect, count increments. So I think this is already really cool, offers a lot of advantages over just default set state. Uh, the more we chain computeds, the better our performance will get. But one thing that has been a challenge when working with signals in Flutter is you still want to be able to create reusable logic with signals. And I think this is actually where um, hooks is actually going to help. So we can go to our terminal and do flutter pub add flutter hooks and the new package called signals hooks. So for those that are probably not used to hooks in Flutter, this hooks is a kind of replacement for stateful widget, which allows you to bind to the life cycles of disposing and knitting and having logic that's co-located with that single widget, but to be able to be shared across multiple stateful widgets. And it's actually really easy to migrate. So we can just go in here and call hook widget as our new extension, we can go and delete all of this. Perfect. And we're going to remove this, remove this, because now this is gonna go inside of the build method. Uh, I'm gonna use the default um, hooks implementation. So we're gonna do use state And for the on press callback, we're gonna do value plus plus. Under the hood, this is actually a value notifier, which is very similar to what we just talked about. And because signals automatically does a two string method that's reactive, we have to explicitly declare it here. Awesome, really cool. So now how do we use the new signals hooks package? Well, we can go in here and instead of 
use state, we can do use signal. And we can import it. And now remove that unnecessary call. And one final time, it rebuilds as expected. What's really cool about this is we define this logic inside of our build method. And it doesn't matter how many times we call the build method, this signal will only be called once based on how normal hooks are created. And we can go in here and do other cool things like count str, which is a use computed that we will explicitly call count value to string. And when we grab this, we can add it into here. When it rebuilds, this is now pulling from the computed value, which is then pulling from the, the source signal. And we can also even add effects right inside of the build method. So we're going to do use signal effect, which is different than the use effect in hooks, which allows you to react only when specific signals change. So we can go in here and do print count value and hit save. And now in our terminal, it's right here, we can see through our log messages, if I pull it up, there we go. It's only being called one time. You don't get the exponentially increasing number of listeners every time that it calls. So this makes it really awesome to be able to take this logic, put it inside of this build method, and then be able to share it with other components. Not only that, you can then share these signals um, across multiple places and even create subclasses. Uh, one final thing I will show you is this new function that I added for defining global signals and to be able to bind to them. They don't have to be global, but um, I just wanted to show how this would look like. So we can say like save state would be signal zero. And we can swap out instead of use signal, we can do use existing signal. And instead of a value, we can pass in our existing signal. This will mean that we can have multiple widgets all bound to the same source signal and it still works as expected because this will actually update its parent signal. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and I will try to respond to them. Reach out to me on Blue Sky and Twitter as well as GitHub. Thanks for watching. Bye.